हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम तनुकल सी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट डिग्री कॉलेज धर्मपुर फ्रॉम हिमाचल प्रदेश यूनिवर्सिटी शिमला टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल एक्सेलेंस एंड ईथोज फ्रॉम पेपर ह्यूमन वैल्यूज एंड इंडियन ईथोज आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट्स will be able to learn about dominant indian values classification of karmas organizational effectiveness success tips for organizational effectiveness indian values attitudes and behaviors for organizational effectiveness introduction indian philosophy has strong moorings in our values and teachings of वासुदेव कुटुंबम एंड सर्वभवंतु सुखी नाम एंड सर्वधर्म संभव इन द होली स्क्रिप्चर्स इन फैक्ट द इंडियन फिलोसफी इज कंप्लीट ट्रेजर ऑफ विजडम फॉर ह्यूमन बींग्स टू लिव लाइफ फ्रूटफुली एंड होलिस्टिकली इन दिस वर्ल्ड इंडियन थाट्स आर ऑफ ग्लोबल अप्रोच सिंस मेमोरियल टाइम्स through many people says that globalization of business is recent phenomenon but indians have adopted such thoughts since ages with the basic paradigm of soul a true believer of indian thoughts would never see any dichotomy between his own self and others so this is widespread in the sense of unity of souls that indian scriptures also explain about unit of all forms and they are not confined to only human beings the managers should also have a global perspective and respect for all human beings dominant indian values since ancient times indian thoughts and value system have always shown light to the rest of world indian scriptures contain very practical approach to life and give us a very clear cut definition and guidelines on the performance of karma that is rightful action detached actions of the managers make them more socially responsive and responsible in the ancient times the vedic scriptures have given the message of making human life most enjoyable and blissful to the humans in india the enjoyment is not confined to acquiring material comforts rather enjoyment extends much beyond the worldly and sensual pleasures and culminates in its highest level of form of bliss indians have also never ignored the success of material life the man dominant indian values are explained as below the great spirit of life from indian philosophy sarv dharm sambhav it means to give equal respect for all religions ekla chalo re it means when no one respond to your call even then we should walk on alone for the cause vasudev kutumbakam it means feeling for the entire universe as a global village sarvajan hite sarvajan sukhe it means bliss in the happiness of all sarvodaya it means good and development for all antodaya it means prosperity of the poorest atithi devo bhava it means to welcome the guest as he is like god institution of family family is the first unit of society and that prepares us to face the rough life and provides strength to face the storms of life a family is the best shelter and anchor in the world where one learns about how to live with other peoples it also supports in bad and tough times a true family grows and moves through the life together family values represent the core values and guidelines that the parents and family members hold in high regard for the well-being of the family 
theory of karma karma means rightful and dutiable action which is the base of indian philosophy the theory of karma is very important in indian philosophy karma in hinduism is also considered originated law according to vedas if one sows goodness one will reap goodness and if one sows evil then one will reap evil it refers to the totality of our actions and their associated reactions in the present and previous lives all this determines our future buddhist theory of karma the theory of karma is the fundamental doctrine of buddhism this belief was explained by buddha and formulated the doctrine in complete form which we have today according to buddhism this inequality if you to not only heredity environment nature and nurture but also due to karma in simple words it is the result of our past actions and our present doings we are ourselves responsible for our own happiness and misery the heaven and hell are created by our own doings classification of karmas some of them important classifications are as follows functional classifications reproductive karma supportive karma counteractive karma destructive karma classification based on the priority veti karma death proximate karma habitual karma reserve karma classification on the basis of time effectiveness karma immediately effective karma subsequently effective karma indefinitely effective karma ineffective plain classification of karma organizational effectiveness organizational effectiveness is about each individual doing everything they know how to do and doing it well in other words organizational efficiency is the capacity for any organization to produce the desired results with minimum expenditure of energy time money and resources both human and material resources organizational effectiveness is the concept of how effective an organization is in achieving the outcomes of the organization intends to produce organizational effectiveness groups in the organizations directly concern themselves with the several key areas the organizational effectiveness points towards effective prudent and strategic use of resources whether they are human resources financial resources and technological resources for creating competitive advantage the organizational effectiveness can be defined as the efficiency with which an association is able to meet its objectives the effectiveness of the business constitutes its ability to perform a function with optimum function level of input and output companies use organizational effectiveness to measure any number of things from the relationship between manufacturing processes and production volume the main measure of organizational effectiveness for business will generally be expressed in terms of how well its net profitability compares with its target profitability additional measures might include growth data and the results of customer satisfaction surveys success tips for organizational effectiveness the following are some of the tips for organizational effectiveness always strive for excellence learn to work in teams take care of yourself persevere have a broad social vision indian values attitudes and behaviors for organizational effectiveness some of these important values attitudes and ethics are as follows cooperation group harmony modesty dignity patience generosity indifference to ownership indifference to saving indifference to work ethics moderation in speech careful listening 
केयरफुल ऑब्जर्वेशन परमिसिव चाइल्ड रियरिंग समरी इंडियन फिलोसफी हैज स्ट्रॉन्ग मूरिंग्स इन आर वैल्यूज एंड टीचिंग्स ऑफ द वासुदेव कुटुंबकम एंड सर्वभवंतु सुखिनम एंड सर्वधर्म संभव इन आर होली स्क्रिप्चर्स इन फैक्ट द इंडियन फिलोसफी इज कंप्लीट ट्रेजर ऑफ विजडम फॉर ह्यूमन बींग्स टू लिव लाइफ फ्रूटफुली एंड होलिस्टिकली इन दिस वर्ल्ड इंडियन थाट्स आर ऑफ ग्लोबल अप्रोच सिंस इमेमोरियल टाइम्स दो मैनी पीपल सेज दैट ग्लोबलाइजेशन ऑफ बिजनेस इज रिसेंट फिनमिन बट इंडियंस हैव अडोप्टेड सच थाट्स सिंस एजेस विद द बेसिक पैराडिजम ऑफ द सोल अ ट्रू बिलीवर ऑफ इंडियन थाट्स वुड नेवर सी एनी डायकॉटमी between his own self and others so this is widespread in the sense of unity of souls that indian scriptures also explain about unit of all forms and they are not confined to only human beings the managers should also have a global perspective and respect for all human beings since ancient times indian thoughts and value system have always shown light to the rest of the world the indian scriptures contain a very practical approach to life and gives us a very clear cut definition and guidelines on the performance of karma that is rightful action detached actions of the managers makes them more socially responsive and responsible in ancient times the vedic scriptures have given the message of making human life most enjoyable and blissful to the humans in india the enjoyment is not confined to acquiring material comforts rather enjoyment extends much beyond the worldly and sensual pleasures and culminates in its highest level of form of bliss indians have also never ignored the success of material life organizational effectiveness is about each individual doing everything they know how to do and doing it well in other words organizational efficiency is the capacity for any organization to produce the desired results with minimum expenditure of energy time money and resources both human and material resources organizational effectiveness is the concept of how effective an organization is in achieving the outcomes the organization intends to produce organizational effectiveness groups in organizations directly concerns themselves with several key areas thank you